Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm Kim and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I, a special welcome to number 150. That was actually a nice notification to wake up to this week. So thank you so much. Today I am going to do a galaxy pour. So this is my first one. And I saw um, Garrick Brown do it on his website or uh, channel, sorry. So I've watched his video probably about five times now and I made lots of notes and I've studied how he did it. Um, my colors are similar but different than his, but they have the same levels of opacity. So I am actually layering kind of in the same order he did, hoping to get something as beautiful as his. We'll see. <laughs> But I'm hopeful, and I've been planning this one for a few months now. Um, I've just been really busy and haven't had the chance to do it, but every couple of days I go back over my notes to make sure I have everything the way I want it. So on that note, let's get to it. Thanks. Hey guys, so this is my new cake turner. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to try it out. I, am, I will link to it on Amazon down in the description. It also came with this nifty little uh, spreader you see over here. So for today's Galaxy Pour, let's see, the colors I'm going to use, oh my paper's moving around here. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas, I forgot to say that, and I'm going to need 6 ounces total of paint. And I've mixed up um, just exactly how much I need. <laughs> so this is Titanium White by Grumbacher. And then I have, let's see, Phthalo Blue by Artist Loft. is Cerulean Blue by Liquitex. I have some Gold by Artist Loft. I actually don't like this gold. I'm hoping to use it up and buy some new pretty soon. I really want to try the 24 karat gold. This is Light Blue by Artist Loft. This is new. It's Pearlized Violet. It is so pretty. And this is by Master's Touch. And then I have some Light Green that I'm gonna mix with this pearl green. I just wanted to kind of change the color of the light green just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna layer this cup and get in, I know I need 6.1 ounces total <laughs> with a little extra for some flow extender, which I've got some leftover scraped paints that I'm going to use as a flow extender. So I'm doing the white on the bottom. This is Thalo. Then I'm going to do the cerulean, the gold, the white. the light blue, the violet, and the green. And then I'm gonna kind of alternate some of the colors for the next layer and then start all over again. Just 
to mix it up a little. So the reason I don't care for this gold is it's not very bright. It rarely shows up a whole lot in the paintings for some reason, which is odd because the pre-mixed gold I had from Master's Touch was the complete opposite. It overtook everything I used it in. So I think my next thing that I'm going to try is the Deco Art 24 karat gold. It has been pretty highly recommended by everyone. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So it didn't spill. My layers stayed. It should be okay. Sorry, I, I have notes on how I want everything layered, so I keep checking my notes. So when you see me lean over, it's because I'm finding my notebook. Oh, no. No, I did it again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. So I have to scrape this up because I have exactly enough paint to do this painting. I did not make extra. <sighs> um, so I've got to use this paint. I don't have enough if I don't. Okay, so we're going to scrape this up. And this is going to be its own layer of paint, right? Okay, so that. How did I do this twice? I don't know. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to soldier on. <laughs> and we get what we get, okay? Maybe it won't be a total disaster. And you'll notice both times that I did this, it was when I was moving that green cut. And I think it's because the green one is larger than the other color cups. I did it again. I almost knocked it over a third time. Clearly, my depth perception is a little off. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I need to weigh this and make sure I have at least 6.1 ounces of paint to cover this canvas. I don't. I have 5.9. Okay. So I'm just going to add in the rest of these colors to get to my 6 ounces. I really should know to make extra paint. I really should. <laughs> I mean, the extras can always go on ornaments later. I'm really kicking myself right now. So I'm going to put some 
puddles of leftover paint in the middle just to help this flow. Uh, I don't have that much leftover paint. I can always use some artist off white that I have made up if I need to. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows I could see some bubbles popping up here and there. Okay, so the plan is to straight pour this into the center and then sort of alternate high and low with the cup to get kind of a different look. So I realize I am not dead center on this. We're going to be a little bit off. My canvas is level, so I think I just am not holding it dead in the center. So I'm not quite getting the little fingers that to get for a galaxy pour. So we'll stretch this and see how that how it works. Let's see. in here are so pretty. Look at that. I'm actually going to let that dry in the cup and then pull that out and try to use the skin. Since I love the way it looks. Okay, so these are some scraped paints that I have. I'm just going to put them around the edges for some flow extender. If you can hear my dog 
in the background. She's trying to keep her from barking at some squirrels. Okay, let's tilt this and see what we get. Let's stretch this out a little. So I'm gonna go corner to corner. So I think in addition to totally spilling the paint, I think I should have used chunkier layers of the paint because um, I really like the way the white in the center looks and that was where I had quite a bit of white. I really like that big section of bright blue. That looks really pretty. Get this a quick torch. I see a lot of bubbles. of dog fur that somehow got in there and some paint boogers. Well guys, I'm going to take you in for a close up here. This is what it looks like still wet. It's actually really pretty close up. It's not a hundred percent what I was going for, but I still really like it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, guys, I'm back. So as you could see, uh, some things did not work out as planned. It was 
definitely not in the plans for me to knock over my cup twice. Um, but I only had enough paint to do this painting so I couldn't just dump that paint and start over. Anyways, I tried to make the best of it. And while it is not exactly like I had envisioned, here is the semi-dry version, which I still really like. So, I, you know, I know what to fix next time. That thing is, not much of the purple or the gold really showed up. Get it? You, can't, you can see a little bit of the purple and a few of the little fingers. There's the purple on the end. Um, so I know, of course, I know next time not to dump my paint twice because it totally messes up uh, the layers. So that's part of the problem. But also the scraped paints that I was using as a flow extender around the outside, I think they were a different consistency. I think those were from the pearl painting I did a few weeks ago. And I think that I, I've got some little spots that I can see that I think are because of that. Um, like right there. Sorry, this is just, this is still slightly damp, so I'm not gonna touch it. Um, and then there's one like right up here. And I think, and even that spot right there, can you see that? I think that also influenced it a little. And there's some spots that didn't quite get covered, I think. Or well, maybe they, I guess they did. It's just where it dripped. So, yeah, I know what to fix for next time. So that's a good thing, right? We're supposed to learn. Um, anyways, go check out Garrett's page, his YouTube channel, and his galaxy pores, because they are really beautiful. Hopefully someday mine will be that good. I will definitely try this one again, though, because I like the way it looked. And um, keep coming back to this one. If you like it, like this video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys.